welcome to the final chapter of The Haunting Silence. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. Let me know in the comments if you saw this ending coming. And oh yeah, dream team. Don't forget to hit the like button. Let's get here done. The ground split beneath me, and I felt the earth give way, pulling me down into the dark. My feet were rooted, trapped, as if the soil itself had grown hands, cold, clawed, and unyielding, gripping my ankles, dragging me toward the abyss. I could feel the weight of the forest pressing down on me, the fog thick and choking, wrapping around my throat like a noose. The figure stood over me, its twisted face grinning with cruel satisfaction. Its eyes, hollow, empty, yet glowing with a sick light, watched me as if savoring the moment. You thought you could run from this. It whispered, its voice echoing inside my skull. But you knew it would always end here. I tried to scream, to cry out, but no sound came. My voice was trapped, swallowed by the heavy fog, the suffocating dread that filled the air. The memories, the ones I had forgotten, buried so deep, swirled around me, cutting into my mind like jagged glass. I had come to this forest. I had made the pact. I remember now. I had been so desperate, so consumed by my own pain, my own grief, that I had been willing to sacrifice anything to be free of it. I had stood in this very clearing, beneath this twisted tree, and I had begged for release. And the forest, the darkness within it, had answered. But there had been a price. The figure stepped closer, its long, twisted fingers reaching for me. I could feel the cold radiating from it, pulling at my skin, draining the warmth from my bones. It was so close now, I could see the unnatural lines etched into its face, the way its mouth curled in grotesque pleasure as it leaned in. You are mine. It whispered, its voice low and menacing. You always were. And in that moment, I realized the horrible truth. This wasn't just a dream. This wasn't some twisted nightmare that I could wake up from. This was real. The ground beneath me trembled, cracking open wider, and I felt myself sinking deeper into the earth. The fog swirled faster, tighter, as if the forest itself was closing in, smothering me. The figure's grin widened, and its fingers brushed my skin. Cold. Icy. Like death itself. The memories came flooding back all at once, flashes of my life, my choices, the pact I had made. I saw myself as a child, standing in this very place, pleading with the forest to take my pain away. I saw the figure, the dark thing that had answered, offering me release in exchange. For my soul. And I had accepted. I had given away a part of myself, a piece of my very being, to escape the hurt. And now, after all this time, it had come to collect. The figure's hand closed around my wrist, its grip icy and unbreakable. My heart raced, pounding in my chest so hard I thought it might burst. I tried to pull away, but the earth held me fast, the fog pressing in from all sides. Let me go! I gasped, my voice barely audible, strangled by fear. Please! I didn't mean to! It doesn't matter. The figure whispered, its grin widening. You made the choice. And now, it's time to pay. The ground split wider, and I could feel the darkness below, the endless, yawning void that waited to swallow me whole. My body trembled, cold sweat running down my face, and for a moment, everything slowed. I had one last chance. With every ounce of strength I had left, I tore my wrist free from the figure's grip, my body shaking with the effort. The fog closed in tighter, the ground cracking and splitting beneath me, but I pushed forward, stumbling toward the twisted tree. I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew I had to reach it. The tree. The one thing in this cursed forest that felt real. Felt solid. The figure's laughter echoed behind me, mocking, but I didn't stop. I threw myself at the tree, my hands slamming against its cold, rough bark. The branches bent down, as if the tree itself was alive, its skeletal fingers reaching for me. And then, Carved into the bark, deep and jagged, was a single word. Repent. The figure's voice hissed behind me, louder now, angrier. 
It's too late. But I didn't listen. I pressed my forehead against the tree, my heart racing, my breath coming in ragged gasps. Please. I whispered, my voice shaking. I made a mistake. I didn't know. I didn't understand. The ground trembled again, and I could feel the darkness pulling at me, the figure drawing closer, but I kept my eyes on the word carved into the bark. Repent. Please. I whispered again, my voice breaking. Forgive me. The air stilled. For a moment, everything stopped. The fog, the ground, the figure's laughter. The silence was deafening, heavy, like the entire forest was holding its breath. My heart pounded in my chest, each beat echoing in the stillness. And then, slowly, the ground beneath me began to close. The cracks sealed themselves, the fog began to lift, and the cold grip of the earth released my ankles. The figure let out a low, guttural snarl, its grin fading as it took a step back, its eyes narrowing in fury. No! This is not how it ends. But I felt it, the shift, the change. The forest was letting me go. I turned, my body trembling, and watched as the figure began to dissolve, its form breaking apart into the fog, piece by piece. It screamed, an inhuman, tortured sound, but it was powerless now. The forest had made its decision. As the last of the figure faded into the mist, I collapsed to the ground, my breath coming in shallow, shaky bursts. The fog lifted completely, the twisted tree standing tall and silent. I was free. But as I stood and made my way out of the clearing, the word carved into the tree stayed with me, etched into my mind. Repent. This was just a dream. But please remember, repentance is more than just turning away from sin, it's about turning toward a new life, one guided by grace and truth. As we walk in humility, may we remember that God's mercy is boundless, His love is unfailing, and no matter how far we've strayed, His arms are always open, ready to welcome us home. Let today be the beginning of that journey, one step closer to the heart of God. Please subscribe to this channel and if you will, visit my other channel linked in the description. The WSFN Channel Thanks so much for viewing the Haunting Silence series. I hope you enjoyed it and will share it with someone. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to join the Dream Team.